Hey, it's Jimmy, and right now I wanna show you another top feature that you should be trying out today in Pictory. All right, let's look at our visual search filters. If you'd like to replace a visual from one of your scenes, you can select that visual, which will open up the visuals library, and you can start typing in a search query here. I would recommend using more than one word. Be as descriptive as possible and use as many words as you can to describe the type of visual you're looking for. So right away, I've got a bunch of options that I could use that would probably work all right. But if I wanna refine this search and really narrow down the results, I can use the search filters, which are right here underneath the text field. So right away, I can narrow this to only show me videos and no images. I could also select a category. So for example, if I wanted to see mostly results that had people in them, I can add that as one of the parameters and now I'm getting results that mostly include people. If you hover on here, you can see that the description of some of these might include language that is relating to people. So they won't all be exactly what you have in your head. You can also apply a style filter. So for example, if I wanted mostly animations or something that's like a motion graphic, I would choose animation. But if I wanted them mostly to be realistic or human or filmed with a camera, I can choose a realistic filter to give me some options that are mostly geared toward that. And lastly, you can include a format filter, which would give you either landscape or portrait, which is like a vertical video. You should definitely experiment with these different filters. It also depends on the different search query that you put in to start with, but this is a really powerful way to refine the results and get you the best visual for your project.